Hello and welcome to Budget Fishing. Um, I'm out on the bank today. I am at Road Hill Fishery uh, again, which I'll put the details of up here. Um, the challenge today, uh, this is going to be challenge number two, is to catch a fish from Middle Lake. Uh, we were, I was here last time on challenge one. Uh, if you haven't seen that, go and uh, go into the previous videos and what, give that one a watch. Um, but I'm here with Theo, um, who's about to finish his GCSEs. He's got his last one tomorrow, so we're out on the bank, get him away from his revision, get him away from the PlayStation for a few hours. So um, yeah, uh, less waffling. Uh, let's get the credits rolling and go from there. So I am cheating, I'm using two rods, um, maximum you can use on here, and like I say, Theo's got his one out. Um, as you can see, we've improvised, I'm sure many of you have done it in the past, we've got a good old Y stick there as a rod rest, um, and he's just out over here where a load of fish were showing. Um, there were loads of fish, I don't know if you can see them at the moment, but I've put some bait down over there, so I'm gonna drop one of them over there. Um, and then the other one is going to sort of go out over in the middle area here. Um, but yeah, the aim is to get a single fish out. Hopefully a single fish out each, if not more. Um, but the rigs we're using today... So Theo's using this as well. As you can see, I've got an inline uh, method feeder going off to a... Uh, small hook with a band and a wafter on there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll pack the method feeder, um, then put the wafter on the top and then pack over the top of that so when it hits the water it will all, all break down and be nice and close. And the other rig is just a very straightforward inline lead clip, um, nothing overly complicated. So we've got an inline lead clip running up to a boilie at the top there. Um, I've chucked four or five boilies out over here. Not gonna hit them hard with it. Using uh, Sticky the Krill again. Um, so it's the Sticky Active stuff. So uh, yeah, let's uh, see what's gonna happen. Um, I'll get these out and hopefully we'll have a fish on soon. And we are about half an hour in and the challenge is complete and extremely Angry, lovely mirror, that common, sorry, which that won't let me, I will hopefully show you. So as you can see, lovely common, probably eight or nine pound, which I'd say is probably my biggest one from this complex challenge complete let's update the challenge and see if we can get a mirror as well yep right game on Theo game, game on. on one no <laughs> and we're in again um, this is the being caught on the method feeder as you can see I've just dropped it down over here um, so same as the last one both caught on the method feeder lovely little common again who's really not wanting to settle down um, but we'll see if we can just I'll get them up for a picture. So as you can see, lovely little common, um, probably six, seven pounds maximum. Um, but yeah, time to get this one back. Two nil to me, um, both on the same tax as what Theo's using. Um, but yeah, two nil, and we're still after the mirror. Yeah, lovely little belly on her. So let's get it. Okay, so just to run through how we're doing it. So what we've done, got the method feeder, as you can see, bucket full of ground bait. Pack that in nice and tight. Banded wafter on the top there. Put that into there like so. And then grab a load more ground bait. Pack it over the top. So the aim is nice compact ball like so. And then when it breaks down in the water, the wafter will come off and you've got all the attraction around it. So this is what's done the damage on both those fish. Um, as you can see, nothing complicated. Using extremely light tackle, I think we're on about sort of six to eight pound mainline small hook, as you see in eight mil wafters. Um, but yeah, that is what's done the damage so far. Theo's using the same tactics on his, and we've just agreed the one that's got the boilie on that hasn't done anything at the moment. If I catch anything on that, it won't count towards it because I got two rods out and he's only got the one. But uh, two nil to me. Just need a 
mirror now and then we've gone to the next part of the challenge but let's get this one out they both they all both come from over there by the hedges and um, directly in front so i'm going to get straight back out and see what we can do so as mentioned in the last one two nil to me now um you'll have noticed uh, the video footage went a little bit bad at the end there i blame the um brought in hired help um he's going to be paid for the quality of his work yep. it's low so far um <laughs> The uh, so yeah, it's two 0 at the moment. Um, I come to Road Hill because it's basically just down the road from where I am. Um, the it takes me about five minutes to get here. It, everything's within an easy walk of the um, car park. It's uh, I've we spoke to the bailiff earlier. He said the maximum size of the fish in this lake. He said he's heard of a twenty, um, which sounds to me like nobody knows it's actually in here. Um, or nobody's proven it's actually in here, so it's. Uh, he said the average head of fish is about ten pound, um, so we're in and around that at the moment. Um, there's a number of other bits and pieces. There's mirrors, there's ghosties, there's tench, um, and various other bits and pieces in there. So we might get uh, a variety of uh, fish throughout the day. Um, at the moment, it's ten past one, so we've been here just over an hour, and we've had the two. So great start to the challenge. I can't complain. Um, the uh, one of the other reasons I, I do come down here as well is it's, it's not just the distance because there's about three or four. Do you want to get in the video, Theo? Um, it's uh, there's there's about three or four uh, places to fish within sort of five ten minutes of here uh, from where I live. But um, I joined the Freeman District Angling Club as I've mentioned previously. This is on the list of venues um, and it's cost me ten pound. Uh, sorry, it's cost me two pounds a day to fish it instead of ten. Um, so it's a bit of a no-brainer. Um, it costs 50 quid for the year to join the angling club. For Theo to join the angling club, he hasn't done it yet, but for him to join it will be, it's a tenner for juniors, um, and then he's a pound a day to fish. So two sessions he's paid for himself because it was a fiver for the half day for him otherwise. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just a nice, pleasant one. Um, the angling club you can then link into other members waters which i hopefully will do soon i'm looking at doing one over in westbury which is warminster angling club um and there's another other uh, Froom venues as well as the rivers and everything available as well but uh, it's close season on the rivers at the moment anyway um but yeah back to this um it's it's i suppose it's uh it's now hurry up and wait again and uh, fingers crossed we'll have another fish soon um, hopefully Theo will have one, he's just moved locations, he's now um, over towards the far bank, um, so yeah, fingers crossed he'll have one in a minute, um, and we can uh, we can go from there. just had another one I say we I've just had another one um, Theo is still on zero how many have you got Theo? Zero. <laughs> um, but uh, I just had another one on the rod with the boilies on so it doesn't count in mine and Theo's little battle um, it was another common it was about know, six seven pound again um, but this thing had been through the uh, the mill quite a bit it's uh, it had about half a towel its dorsal fin was smashed to pieces it had a fin like Nemo um, so yeah, I don't think it was uh, the happiest fish in the world. Um, and there's only so much carp care um, or clinic or anything like that you can put on one of those. Um, but yeah, so three so far. Um, as mentioned, the bailiff did turn around and say this is probably the hardest fishing lake that they've got. Um, you've got the old brick yard at the end um, over th here um, through that gate there, which has got two swims. Apparently, that's been fishing better than this one has. So to have three, I think, is uh, is quite a good shout. But uh, Exactly. I would like to have a mirror out of here. I, I'm assuming there's mirrors in here. Um, so I would like to have one out of there. I do know there is tension here, which I would like to have. Um, but I'm not going to uh, be overly fussed. As far as I'm concerned at the, so far, challenge is complete. Um, it's now just a case of uh, how much we can exceed that challenge by. Um, and hopefully, really do hope, Theo can get a fish as well. Um, because so far, every time we come here, he's normally um, 
washing them out over in the match lake and uh, I normally end up having a couple but um, today he's on a big fat zero zero my so um, yeah fingers crossed he'll get one before the day's out um, but as long as he don't get more than me uh, I don't really care so that's the end of the session um, how many did you have Theo none and I had two that counted one that didn't on the other rod and I lost one on the other rod that was fishing on the boily so um, three out in total from four runs um, don't know why Theo didn't have anything it was just one of those days for him I guess him yeah. but then he's had plenty of good ones here in the past when we all haven't um, so yeah uh, challenge complete as far as I'm concerned um, trying to work out what the next one will be I'm going to get Theo signed up as a junior member to the angling club so then it's going to cost him a pound instead of me five um, but yeah until the next time thanks for watching and don't forget to uh, click the like button down here somewhere and subscribe uh, to the channel so you keep updated on the next videos bye ciao for now